So we replaced the throttle bodies on this SV1000, and uh, now since the throttle bodies are on there new, we need to readjust the throttle cables because it's idled really high. Uh, so that's what I'm going to walk you through is the rough adjustment of the throttle cables at the throttle bodies, as well as the fine adjustment of the cables up by the grip. Uh, so let's get started by taking off a couple pieces and getting the tank raised. So our throttle cables come in here and here, and the first one we have to adjust is actually on the bottom, but we're going to loosen the top one, uh, and then loosen the bottom, and then uh, we're going to adjust them independently and lock them down. So you've got a 12 millimeter lock nut, and then a 10 millimeter uh, nut that's actually adjusts the cable itself. Alright, so the adjustment procedure is you start on the lower the lower adjuster here, which is the return adjuster, and you want to get it says two to four millimeters of play in that throttle. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna move the top cable out of the way. Just so I can get to it and lock it down. I think that's going to be the only way to do it. Okay, so I've got this top cable moved out of the way and I'm going to adjust the lower cable. So now this one Got to hold the grip in the close position. Adjust till you get play of one millimeter. Okay, there's some play there. So we're going to tighten this guy down. We've got it adjusted for play. Tighten down the lock nut. And got a little bit of play. Okay, so that is the adjustment for the throttle cables. Here, make sure everything's locked down, nothing's loose, everything moves freely. Okay, so now we're going to do the fine adjustment to the throttle, which is right here, uh, just on the outside of the grip. So our grip is here, these are our adjusting cables. So we're going to go ahead and move back these rubber pieces so we can get access. Okay, so I've only got one 8 millimeter wrench, which is what we need for this. So I'm going to hold the cables with this large guy here, and I'm going to release the lock nut. Specified. And then I'll release the lock nut on the other cable. So we are supposed to, on this guy, we adjust this all the way in. That was the suggestion. Okay, we adjust that all the way in. And then we adjust this guy here until we get enough play, two to four millimeters of play. There we go. Right there, we got we got our two to four millimeters of play. I feel pretty good about that. All right, we tighten this guy up. So again, I'm going to hold 
this. I'm sorry, I don't have another wrench. I know this is hard to see, but I'm going to hold my adjuster in place. And I'm going to tighten my lock nut, with my wrench. All right, so this guy is snug, and we've got our adjusting here. And then, while holding the throttle grip fully closed, turn out adjuster three here until you feel resistance. Okay, I think that's probably good right there. I could feel a little bit of resistance in the grip while I was doing that. Come on, get loose. Get loose. And now, again, we've got to hold our adjuster and then tighten the lock nut. Okay. Now I like to roll these boots back and then once they are slid all the way on, oh, you can then roll them over the top and they seal up really good. And the last step is adjusting the idle speed. You want to get the bike warmed up and then you adjust this screw here to change the idle speed to set it to around 1200 RPM, uh, which is the factory spec. Hope you can check out the other maintenance videos I've done. Uh, there's a couple of them here and here.